Hi everyone, Mike Cleary here with Sonance. We're at ISC in Barcelona 2023, and it's been a great show. Uh, for the show, we've debuted a brand new website uh, called SonanceDesignGallery.com. The intention for this site is to really bring our strategy, our messaging together with some visuals to really help you articulate uh, what makes these Sonance and James Loudspeaker products special and how do we create value for your customers to inspire ideas. So as you can see, we've taken uh, what is uh, traditionally thought of as a complex product catalog and broken it down into four conversations. Uh, music for the home, music outside, TV audio, and then why is that different from dedicated theater? So uh, let me give you a brief tour and we'll set up uh, this idea. We open with a visual of what is the ideal experience for music inside the home. And we, we're using these after effects to illustrate even balanced coverage. Um, we often use this lighting analogy that really sets this up of this beautiful space. And I wouldn't light it with just a pair of light fittings. And so we're, we're illustrating that visually with our scroll motion tool. And we're really bringing on the idea of a pair of speakers and a pair of lights is just not sufficient. And so what we're going for here is, is comfort. Uh, and so by illustrating multiple lights in the room, it allows us to visualize this is the benefit of multiple speakers so that you can actually have consistent volume room to room, whether you're entertaining with a group or whether it's just a morning cup of coffee, uh, that's, that's the goal. Once our customers understand that, then the conversation tends to turn into the architecture, the design, the build. And so you can see on our design to disappear tab, we've identified drywall, plaster, wallpaper, and a paperback wood veneer, and of course, wood ceiling uh, as some potential finishes. So maybe I'll use the, uh, the wallpaper as the example here. You can see we've got this very cool designed room and the speakers sound great, but they don't look the part in the room. So we're highlighting, uh, in this case, a VP uh, rectangular solution. And as we tab through degrees of invisibility, the concept is that we could certainly paint the grills and it helps to hide them in the room. But what if your client didn't even know that invisible was possible? So we're identifying locations where invisible speakers could go in the wall and we could actually pull uh, that, that room to be clean. So we, we like to often say it's like Photoshop in real life. Um, one more example that we found quite popular is for wood ceilings. Again, this beautiful space featuring rustic timber uh, on the ceiling. And this room will sound great with all the speakers around, but again, it stands out. And so what are our options? Uh, of course, painting the grill is one option, but if the light fittings are flush into the wood, then we should probably consider a flush speaker. And so this is the James uh, small aperture. Um, we're showing that in a couple variations, including actually using a removable wood trim uh, to hide into the wood material. So a bit of uh, authentic materials is, is part of that story. And then the final piece, of course, is a completely hidden solution where we've routed the speaker grill into the wood itself. So my hope is that this design to disappear uh, segment inspires ideas, it inspires creativity, and it provides a way to you, for you to engage with the designer, with the builder, and with the homeowner to give some context. Uh, check out the site and we'll uh, provide links below. All right, so moving along through the progression of Sonance Design Gallery is that we're very intentionally starting with the story, then we're getting into design and materials, and then finally you'll see the tab for solutions at the end of the product line there. In this case, we're highlighting Sonance Invisible Speakers, James Small Aperture Products, and Sonance VP. And it's really, again, this concept of degrees of invisibility, this progression of aesthetics. Uh, and so maybe we'll start with the James Small Aperture product. Uh, as you can see, we've got this exploded view animated down on the bottom. If you click on the information tab, it'll give you a taste of uh, how does all of this product come together. Uh, but my, my favorite feature is this right arrow. It takes you to this scroll motion utility. So in this case, we're looking at drywall and plaster surfaces, where as you scroll through in 20 seconds, right, we can give an architect or designer or homeowner context for how does this all work together. We're showing uh, in plaster and drywall a small aperture speaker with a thin bezel and then also with a flush bezel. And we're complementing this digital message with the display boards uh, here on the wall. 
So you should know that these display boards are available for your showrooms, for your design partners, to really give some context for uh, what's possible with uh, some of the different finishes. The next uh, animation here is built around a wood surface and we've animated a flush solution into wood. We highlight the painted surface and then again looking at uh, removable wood trims and that custom application to route uh, the, the speaker grill right into the wood surface. So our concept here is to show the physical product on the wall, give something to illustrate the, the idea and then be able to point to the finishes. One of my favorite pieces, I'll go back to the solutions tab, is to introduce invisible uh, with some construction context. So in this case, of, of course, again, we've got that exploded view. If you hit the I button for information, you'll get the whole line of invisible products to show someone uh, what's possible. But the application layer is my favorite, where we get into this room where we've got the speaker actually being uh, put into the wall. Of course, this could be the ceiling as well but we'll roll through the different finishes and really look at drywall, plaster, wallpaper, and of course, paperback wood veneer. So anything from one to three millimeters uh, that maintains some flexibility is a nice fit. So again, the hope is that the tool's been built to really guide you through those conversations. Uh, give us some feedback. We're happy to take the input and look forward to you getting a chance to use the site. All right, so now we're over here on the, uh, um, music for indoor spaces wall. And as we've looked at the invisible product, we've looked at small aperture, I wanted to highlight power pipe. If you've not yet tried a power pipe subwoofer from James Loudspeaker, it's worth a look. Um, as I click through uh, over here, you'll see this beautiful picture where the sub has actually been installed and fitted right into the floor. It looks like an air register, um, but really there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. So. We've got models from six inch all the way out to 15 inch subs. We've got the 12 inch subwoofer feature here on the stand. And one of my favorite things to show is of course that the standard toe kick uh, comes in the box, but don't be afraid to inquire on custom paint or if we know that the surface of the toe kick needs to be wood, it could be stone. Let's have that design conversation and figure out what's the right material. In this case, the wooden toe kick is removable or you can opt to actually route the opening directly into the face of the board itself. So use the creativity. I think you'll find uh, that the craftsman and the team in Minden, Nevada is ready to uh, engage with you on those ideas. All right, making our way down the line, we were looking at the James loudspeaker lineup and many of you have tried and know the small aperture product. Uh, it's been a you know, huge success for us. We're thankful for the adoption. We've had a number of dealers tell us we're in love with that product, but, and the but is we need a higher output solution for custom solutions. Um, so if you see, I'll click on this ultra high output. Let me introduce the James loudspeaker, small aperture 853. The concept takes that same form factor from the SA63 and just scales everything up to a dedicated eight inch subwoofer in the enclosure and then we go from the small module to this large module featuring a James uh, quad tweeter array. Uh, aesthetically, you'll see that the same aesthetics from the small aperture line transfer. Uh, my favorite being the seven inch by seven inch square trim that can be painted or of course made from various wood solutions. To get a sense of scale and size, you'll see that we've got the SA63 above and the SA853 down below. Uh, we often hear that uh, when we lay these out in a bid or proposal, uh, they're fine, but when we get to the construction phase, sometimes we find that we don't have as much ceiling depth uh, or wall depth as we thought. So uh, we're happy to showcase the SA63-4 uh, in the uh, above, and then its counterpart is the SA853-6, built with the same output, uh, same tremendous performance, but for a much, uh, much tighter wall. So check these products out if you haven't had a chance to listen. Uh, we'd love to get you a demo. All right, so we're still here at ISC Barcelona 2023, and I've got to tell you that we're excited to introduce two new amps into the Sonance lineup. These amps fit underneath the DSP line, and it features the new digital layout for a digital 16 channel, 50 watts per channel, uh, one U tall chassis. Uh, this product is uh, met with its uh, counterpart here, the Digital 850, is an eight-channel variation. Of course, 12-volt triggers, 
busable inputs and direct line inputs. It's got a unique subwoofer out feature uh, that you should check out. And we're really excited about the quality of the power amp here. It's got a 600 watt power supply, which means that we can drive all channels or bridge all channels. So look forward to this hitting the market uh, shortly here. We're excited to bring this to you as part of the overall amp strategy from Sonance. All right, we're looking at outdoor form factors and James Loudspeaker and Sonance offer a tremendous amount of solutions. I think the key focus here is that we're organizing them in ways by application. So the first application here is freestanding and it's that idea where we've got, whether it's hardscape or softscape, we're trying to place a product uh, in that space. We might need directional sound, we might need omnidirectional sound. So from Sonance, we've got the Omni 6T, this product is really built to uh, hit a price point and perform quite well. Uh, it features a six and a half inch woofer with four tweeters all the way around, giving us a 360 degree coverage. If size and performance uh, and price point is ready to step up, then let me introduce you to the James Loudspeaker uh, Omni uh, 109. Uh, this is part of a larger family of products, uh, an eight inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch uh, Omni. Um, these products can be had uh, in 10 standard outdoor powder coat colors, or if you've got a specific color you're after, uh, please send us the paint code and we can do some custom powder coating for you. Um, from an option standpoint, it's got down firing subwoofers in the lower half of the product, and that can be optioned as uh, bi amplified or in line with the, uh, the top half. It can also be optioned for 100 volt application. So contact your uh, Habitech salespeople to really decide what's the right fitting and the right choice. Now these two products are built for omnidirectional sound. The next two are part of our outdoor tower lineup and this is of course for directional sound. These are completely weatherproof uh, tower speakers that can survive the elements and there's a few different options here. Uh, we're showcasing at the show the OT66Q uh, which features the quad tweeter. Uh, this is essentially the top half of the OT88 full range product. And this product is built to really be the mid and high frequency module. We encourage you to look at what's the right subwoofer application uh, for this. As you move to the OT88, it really is full range. Uh, and then you can choose, you know, do you want to add a sub from there? The next model uh, here at the stand is actually a bit of a hybrid. Uh, we call it the OT84, and this product has a sub, a mid-range driver, and a tweeter, uh, all built into the same size form factor. So if you haven't heard these OT towers, uh, they're built for tremendous output, and uh, they do a really nice job. Moving along into the categories of outdoor audio, we're featuring products uh, from the OW line, or the on-wall line. And as you can see, we've got all four extrusions mounted on the wall. The extrusions really determine overall size, so height, length, and width. And if you know what kind of depth you're working with uh, on your project, then we'll be able to help recommend uh, what product will fit. What's interesting to note is that these products start their lives as a single long extrusion, which means that you can actually give us the dimensions from your project, and we'll, we'll work with you to, to work on that. Uh, a couple examples that are worth knowing about. In this case, the client said that they wanted to hide the audio and we wanted to stay out of the wood ceiling. And so uh, we've, you can see we've got the OW53Q custom built to size of the stack stone column and it's hidden right in a plain sight. So use the creativity of the standard model and apply it uh, as you can. Um, this next customer, the concept was that they move furniture when they entertain based on the size of groups. So they wanted to stay away from the freestanding product. And so with a little bit of brainstorming, we landed on using an OW extrusion and actually partnering with the glass railing company so that the uprights within the glass become uh, the structural portion uh, of the speaker as well. Pretty cool. Uh, one other accessory that's worth knowing about is uh, what we call the mason box. Mason boxes are built specific to the dimensions of the different OW product lines and they allow you to take any of these uh, products and actually flush mount them into stone, concrete, wood, uh, whatever that material is. So a good example of that use was this home in Los Angeles where there was concrete poured in place, uh, steps going in 
and we have the thought that, well, maybe we could use the vertical face of the step to actually capture the speaker flush mount and then paint the grill to match the finish of the concrete. So certainly if you have the opportunity to, uh, to listen, uh, take a listen at the show, we're debuting the new OW64Q. Uh, this product features an additional woofer. It sounds fantastic. Uh, so contact your, uh, your Habitech sales team and we'd love to get this product in front of you. The last form factor we'll look at uh, on the stand here is something that we all love. It's called the Wedge Series. And what you're seeing on the wall are the two different wedge extrusions, uh, the 52, the 43, uh, 42, and then the uh, W53Q and the W43Q. So this idea of single woofer or dual woofer, um, while these products are standard uh, sizes, the same theme is true. They all start as longer extrusions. So we'll see if the camera allows you to pick it up, but we've built a pergola upright behind us and we've actually built a single wedge unit that's filling the size uh, between those uprights. The wedge itself features a left and a right speaker and the finish on them is uh, been built to match the columns. So uh, please use that creativity, understand that we can leverage uh, all of the fabrication skills of the team in Minden to come up with something pretty special for you. All right, we've come to the section of the stand here in Barcelona where we're featuring cinema products. And I think this is a good example of where Sonance and James Loudspeaker come together as one really wonderful uh, set of solutions. Um, featured right here on my left is the Sonance Reference Series. And if you know this product, you know that it punches above its weight class, so to speak. Um, everything's built with a fully enclosed cabinet and it features all the drivers and the technology from our 8 Series product. Um, we would often get the feedback that this line sounds fantastic, but when the room, the budget, or the scope grows beyond it, where do we go? And in the past, this was really uh, the limit for the Sonance brand. Um, so the nice part is to say whether you're using the impact woofer, uh, the in-wall woofer, or any of the in-ceiling or in-wall products, um, those can now be complemented with the full line and offering from James Loudspeaker. We've got the BE series of product here on the stand, but we, of course, we also feature uh, Mavericks uh, within the lineup. The BE lineup uh, features this quad tweeter, uh, and then as you go up in size from the 806 to the 808 BE, there's also an 812, and then custom applications as well. For those of you that have come over to California to visit, uh, you'll remember that we use 808s in the Sonance Theater in San Clemente, and then the 806 products as side surrounds and height channels uh, in that room. Uh, from a subwoofer standpoint, we've got the EMB uh, 15 product here on the ground, and then the PowerPipe 12. Of course, the benefit is to mix and match all of the different form factors to really get the best result for that room. So if you've not heard these products, uh, come on out to California, come take a listen. Uh, I know the Habitech team has, has uh, some plans as well to add this to the building. All right, we've come to soundbars and we're featuring both Sonance and James Loudspeaker soundbars. The new product for the show is the new SPL2. Uh, this product was built with the idea of uh, dealers looking for a shorter front face grill, but who maybe had the extra depth of cabinetry. And so in this case, the SPL2 is built with this unique oval racetrack driver that allows us to get the face down uh, quite a bit. Uh, and you should know that it's priced the same as the SPL3 with the idea that use the SPL2 if you've got cabinetry or you have uh, depth and then SPL3 if you've got the TV mounted on plane where you want to minimize uh, depth. So really built to kind of complement each other. Um, the SPL2 is in production now and we're excited to bring this product to you. All right, we've come to the portion of the stand where we're really having this conversation around hiding technology for TV audio, whether that's two-channel, left stereo, uh, left-right stereo, or whether that's surround sound. We're featuring a Samsung Frame TV, and of course the whole concept there is if Samsung's working hard to hide that television within uh, the artwork and the framing, then putting a soundbar underneath the Frame TV kind of gives it away. So our concept here is to run this animation to really showcase what if we paired invisible speakers with the Samsung Frame TV to really execute on that idea of truly hidden uh, surround sound. Uh, these vinyl graphics to the left and right 
is the overall outline of the IS-10. And so you should know that in our San Clemente studio, we feature IS-10s left, center, and right. Uh, we've also got a pair of IS-8s in the room uh, as overhead Atmos channels. And then the IS-15W subwoofer in the, uh, the bottom left corner uh, of the room, both front and back. So uh, we're really excited to experiment with this idea of uh, using the frame uh, hidden artwork technology around surround sound. Uh, also, what's been interesting for us is to experiment with the ceiling uh, left, center, right as well. So if you've got uh, opportunity for this, please reach out. We'd be happy to give you uh, some feedback and some suggestions on placement. Uh, but the results have been pretty fun. When you walk into a room that's completely clean and you've got this whole immersive experience going on around you, uh, it's, it's really quite something. We're here at the stand in Barcelona and we're looking at Sonance Invisible products. We want to make sure that you know all of the tools available to you to make sure that these products get installed the best that they can. Uh, if you've not seen it yet, the Sonance DG1 is a depth gauge calibration tool. And the concept is that we've got these steel discs actually embedded into the face of the invisible products themselves. So you can see on the exploded view, they're quite easy to find uh, when that product is uh, torn apart. But once the product gets installed into the wall or ceiling, it can be quite difficult to make sure how much mud or how much plaster was applied over the top. So this system actually allows you to verify. Um, we include a magnet in the box, and so the concept is that you can float this magnet over the wall, and when you get close to that corner, you can see that it's a quite strong magnetic attraction here. Uh, the depth gauge is calibrated so that if you were to take a measurement on an uninstalled product, it'll read zero. So we're, na we're uh, subtracting out the thickness of the drywall paper so that when you come to the actual finish boards, you can see exactly what's been applied. Our recommendation is that any flexible surface from one millimeter thickness to three millimeter thickness will get the end result that we're all excited to, uh, to demonstrate and, and talk about. So check out the DG1 uh, from Habitech. I think this is a wonderful tool to have on the truck with those technicians uh, to make sure you've got full confidence in the end result. All right, we're at the point uh, on the stand now where we're looking at the Sonance Professional Series. Of course, this product is 100 volt. Uh, design all across different form factors. So you'll see behind me the in-ceiling products uh, are built uh, to really give us multiple sizes and each actual form factor features a dedicated woofer as well. So showing the PSC 43, 63, 83 and the dedicated woofer. Um, we are introducing two new models in the lineup that are complementing these existing models and so here at the show, we're introducing two new models to the standard and ceiling range. The PSC41 and the PSC61 complement uh, the entire lineup at a, a bit more of an aggressive price point, uh, meeting some of the regulations needed uh, for overall uh, room requirements. As we move from the in-ceiling product down the form factor line here, you'll see that we've got two specialty models, uh, which really feature a thin, uh, back construction. So if you find that you're on the project and you don't have the, the depth needed for the rest of the lineup, you should uh, take a look at the PSC 43, the RTLP uh, lineup, uh, both featured in the, the 4 and the 6, uh, really gives you some flexibility from a, a depth standpoint. Uh, moving forward, the surface mount products uh, are, are some that uh, are featured, of course, in a black and a white finish. And there's multiple uh, products with 4 inch uh, 5 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch. And just like in the in ceiling line, there's a dedicated 8 inch surface mount woofer to complement this design. It's worth noting that all of these fe products feature the same uh, 100 volt transformer, which means that they've all been voiced uh, to work with each other. So if you're working in an environment where you've got a ceiling in one area and an open concept in the other, uh, you might be able to choose where do I want to go ceiling versus a surface mount. Uh, versus a pendant. So if you've seen a lot more open architecture, being able to hang those pendant speakers from beams and from high ceilings, uh, the same four inch, six inch and eight inch pendant are there as full range products. Again, with the dedicated 83 uh, with the, the woofer channel. Uh, fairly new to the lineup for the Pro Series is taking the best of the innovations uh, from the Invisible product and applying it for 100 volt as well. 
So the new uh, IS-8T and IS-6T is important to know that you can bring this idea of design to disappear, a truly invisible product built for drywall, plaster, wallpaper, and wood veneer, but with a metal back can, with the transformer, so truly allowing you to mix and match these technologies to make sure that it looks the part, it looks correct. Uh, rounding out the Pro Series lineup is a dedicated subwoofer uh, that we love. The PS210T uh, is a, a dual 10 inch subwoofer that can be flown and hung uh, in the ceiling. It can be built into cabinetry or uh, put into structural situations with a bracket. It features a removable port that you can actually change the direction of the output and loading. So if you've not yet heard the PS210, it is definitely worth, uh, worth a demo. Thanks for uh, joining us at Barcelona. We're excited to bring these products to you. All right, well, you know Sonance and you know James Loudspeaker. That means you also know our iPort product line is being represented here in Barcelona. We're excited to bring you uh, an exciting charging uh, circuit update to the lineup. Uh, the Connect Pro products, you can always tell, is that launch port or Connect Pro a few ways. One is a symmetrical bezel. It's been beautifully designed in both a high gloss white and a matte black. But if you flip the product around, you'll see this concentric gold ring. That's your real indicator that there's something special going on. Uh, the charging circuit's been updated to support USB-C voltages, and it still, of course, features the, the popular rotation skew for on-wall or for the base station. Um, one important update to this lineup is uh, this really cool data module that's been released. Uh, we're looking to actually ship this uh, in spring of 2023. And what the data module does is it's an add-on accessory for both the in-wall and the base station to allow hardwired data transfer. When that product is on the dock, the network is seeing that as an ethernet connection. And then when, of course, the device, the iPad, is moving around, uh, then it'll jump onto Wi-Fi. So particularly interesting when we start thinking about home automation, large projects, uh, thinking about Wi-Fi coverage. This data module is also featured on its cousin product, Surface Mount, which really uses the same aesthetic, uh, but we're transferring that to a semi-permanent installation where you know you're going to have high traffic areas and you don't want that iPad to walk away. Um, a little bit later out in 2023, targeted for summer, is a, a derivative of the Connect Pro product that we're calling Connect Mount, and that concept will be to target a slightly more aggressive price point and lose some of the feature sets uh, that are featured in the Connect Pro line, but still keeping that consistent aesthetic. So stay tuned for uh, more updates from iPort, and we're excited for all the innovation going on. Thanks for all the support.